What's going on guys, I'm back with another video. So in this video, this is a trick slash skill, more of a skill that you guys need to know. Because a lot of people that I see do not know how to do this and they spend such like valuable time doing the most absurd thing I've ever seen. And I'm not gonna lie, I used to do this when I was younger or when I was in ninth grade and 10th grade, even 11th grade, until one of my teachers told our entire class how to correctly make a graph of an equation. Do it fast and efficient and not take so much time on the fine details to the point where you're wasting time. Because on the calculator section and the non-calc section, some students, they need to see um, the problem via graph, right? They're visual learners. They can't just read the words and find the answer to the problem. They can't just be given two equations and find the intersection like that. They may need to graph it. So guys, I want you guys to understand this. When you graph an equation, right? So let's 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 do the let's make the graph that every student makes, all right? Every student is taught to make in elementary school or middle school or maybe even high school if you go to bad high school. So this is what they do. Ready? Actually it's not a bad high school, it's just that it's just a bad skill to know. Bad habit. So say I graph I say graph the equation y equals two x plus one, okay? What will people do? All right, they're gonna make a little a one here, a two here, a three here, a four here, a five here. Then a negative one, a negative two, a negative three, a negative four, a negative five, then negative one, negative two, negative three. So look how long this is taking, guys. Just imagine. This is at least 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, you can finish the exam. Think about that. All right, so now I have my graph made, all right? So now, okay, I'm going to put an x equals zero, all right? If I put an x equals zero, I get y equals one, okay? If I put an x equals one, I get y equals three. One, three, put x equals two, I get five. So then, then they connect the line like this. And then uh, if I put a negative one, I get uh, negative one. And so maybe they may like just make the finish the line like that. And this is what they're gonna do to understand like whatever. They may do this to find the y-intercept, right? They may do this to identify the slope because they don't understand the equation. Or a better example is if you make a quadratic, they may actually graph a quadratic. Let's say you have a quadratic, uh, whatever it is, x squared plus 9x plus 5,000, whatever it is. And they will literally make this graph and graph a solution. Say negative 2 is one of the solutions and then negative 3 is a vertex and then 2 is the other solution. And they will legit make this equation and they will they legit will make this graph with all the lines and all that. That's what you don't need. All right? You don't need all that. If I say... On the calculator section, um, if you need, if I say do this, let's say y equals x squared plus 2x plus um, 1. And you need to graphically see this problem, right? You will not make any more lines than you need to all right you will start off like this this is what, how you start off like this would be zero you, you don't need to make that entire uh cross okay what are the solutions to this problem uh, x plus one squared right okay so negative one is the solution this is negative one right so you only graph the solution and then you make the equation and you may, you may want the y-intercept too so if you put in zero what do you get you get one so zero one and that's it that this is how your graph should be like i don't care how annoying or bougie it looks i don't care how unprofessional it looks this is all you should be graphing guys this is the correct way to graph a problem now i know you guys have this bad habit of making the entire cross making the lines making the entire increments you don't need you don't need to you know make one two three four five one two three four five if you're not even using five four or three why even put them on the graph right just make the graph work for you only graph the important things what are the important things in this equation? The y-intercept and x-intercepts, right? That's always the important, most important thing. And sometimes a vertex, right? These are the most important things ever in any single quadratic, right? So this is what you have to do when graphing. Because sometimes you may need to graph the problem. Graph it like this. Don't graph it in whatever way I showed you guys earlier, all right? That takes way too much time. You guys cannot be doing that, all right? Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, dude. Peace out, dude. Peace.